Trent here with FrontStretch.com at Charlotte Motor Speedway here with Tony Brodinger. How are you doing? Good, how are you? I'm doing great. Uh, so it's Memorial Day weekend before we, you know, talk about racing. Do you have any traditions, you know, growing up or, you know, whether, you know, be with family, friends, of holidays and stuff, special occasions? Yeah, um, probably just spending time with friends, family, just kind of having like a chill weekend. I'd say okay. cool. Yeah. yeah, cool. So you're like one of the rare drivers here who has like a massive personal brand outside of racing and then you have your own racing brand so have you managed over your career to make those two things coexist without them you know maybe not running into each other or when they do it's, it's benefiting each one yeah i think the only time they would really run into each other is schedule wise um, i think people tend to think that you can't have branding outside of racing that it just can't work but it can just like do it um so yeah i would say like schedule wise i mean racing is my priority um but those other stuff is important too so usually i'll take care of that stuff on the weekdays racing on the weekends try to balance it out Okay, cool. How many fans have sort of come, I guess, come over from, I guess, knowing you from social media, but may not know much about racing and stuff? How many, you know, have you, maybe not really a number, but like, you know, is there a good percentage of people who have, you know, come over and t told you, hey, I'm here because of this? Yeah, I've had a few fans come um, just because they knew I was going to be racing and they're from social media, but I'd say like a lot of my fans are kind of like very spread out and even not in America, so they haven't really had the chance to see me yeah. race, so they'll tune into races on TV and all that kind of stuff. Okay, cool. So... We're, it's May, believe it or not, and uh, it seems like Daytona was yesterday. So how would you evaluate your season so far, and uh, were you thinking you can improve a little bit going into the rest of 2022? Yeah, I think what we're like four races into the season, so it feels like it's like been a while since Daytona, but we haven't had that many races because they've been kind of like awkwardly spaced out. So I feel like once we get past Charlotte, everything kind of kicks up and we're racing every weekend, like short tracks, road courses, all that kind of stuff. Uh, but yeah, I would say for me, like today, I just want to improve on my intermediate program that I have going on, improve on myself there. And then once we do the short track swing, that's a little bit more of my comfort zone, but I definitely want to um, end tonight. Good. Okay, cool. So at the end of the year, you see the points or, you know, you see your results. What would be a successful season for you to close out the year? Yeah, I mean, I think getting Rookie of the Year would be um, good for us. And uh, I think maybe, like, top three within the points, I think, would be a good goal for us. Okay, cool. All right, well, thanks for your time. Looking forward to seeing what you do for the rest of the season. Yeah. And uh, good luck today. Thank you. I appreciate All right, it. cool.